Okay, I received my uh, Pine 64 board yesterday, and so I've had a day to play with it. And so far I've tried three different operating systems. I tried the Android 5.1.1, which I'm putting on display right now. Uh, also, I put the Remix uh, OS on that one, operating system. And I also uh, created a Linux and put on there, Ubuntu. So what I had, I got three different micro uh, SD cards, micro SD cards. And each one of those, one of them I put uh, Android on, and the other one I put Remix on, and the third micro SD card, I put Ubuntu Linux on it. So right now we're booting into uh, Android 5.1. Now, all three of these OSs need much improvement. So none of them are finished products, but I'll give you an idea of what they look like. Again, this one that's booting up right now, that is the... Um, Android 1.1 and it does take a little bit to uh, boot up because everything is stored on those micro SD cards. Okay, now one thing that I have to test out, uh, these boards or even devices, Android devices, they all struggle playing the uh, live TV streams. So one of my tests is the HD Home Run View app and the TV Head and Client app. Uh, so, let's check this one out. Now, one of the problems with this one, there's no button to uh, uh, make this bar disappear. Most of these apps does it automatically disappear, but this particular uh, app here doesn't. Now, 4.1 is a uh, 1080i uh, interlaced and it seemed to be doing a pretty good job with that. The other high def channel 2.1 is a 720p channel. It also plays very well. Okay, 2.1. At 62.1, I'm not sure if that's a 720p or a 1080i. I'd have to look it up, so I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, again, this bottom bar does not disappear on that. Okay, so I just want to give you an overview of that one. And there again, this is the recording screen, the discovery screen, and I'm just using a standard... Uh, uh, mouse on this one, wireless mouse. Okay, now, next one we're going to look at is the TV headed client. Again, I'm running Android. Uh, okay, now let's go to 2.1. Now, this one is pretty slick here. This is using my TV head in, uh, running on my uh, little Android stick in the background. Uh, so, these are the channels. Okay, so we're at 2.1. I click play. Let's open with the video player just once. Okay, and again, okay, now that one made the bottom bar disappear. Now that one plays very well. Okay, now let's go to the 4.1. Again, this is the one that's uh, 1080i, which got the interlace. Let's see how it plays. Again, you know, this is an all-winner SOC system on a chip. Uh, it actually plays them pretty well, but uh, there's some things that it's lacking on. But for as the video quality, it's very, very good. And some people said, well, the all winner SOCs are not very good. In reality, this one's doing pretty good for a beta version of the OS operating system. So anyway, that's what I just wanted to show you. Uh, Chrome, et cetera, et cetera. It does all that stuff. So anyway, I'll switch over now to the uh, another operating system. So, all right, stand by and I'll put on the other operating system. Okay, now I just swapped micro SD cards. Now this one I put in is the um, 
Remix OS, operating system. So this one, it takes a little while to boot up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause this right now until it boots up. Okay, the Remix Mini uh, OS, it finally booted up. It took a little while for this particular one to boot up. But anyway, oh, one thing I forgot to mention on both of these, the Android or the Remix, the uh, Ethernet does not work. Uh, they're aware of it, and it's been a couple months, and they still have not got it working, even though I just got my board yesterday. Uh, so they're correct. It does not work. So everything is running off of Wi-Fi, and it's 2.4 gigahertz, not even the 5 gigahertz. But anyway, I'll give you a little showing of what this one can do. And again, this is lacking also. You're, um, you're trying to keep that temperature hot so the grease doesn't get in the food. Channel 2.1, that's a 720p channel. Precision induction. So let's go to the channel 4. Now that channel 4 is wow. a 1080i interlaced. Yeah, they look really good. So actually, uh, to use our it plays fairly decent. To make the and again, the thing, the advantage with the uh, Remix OS and those who are not familiar with it, it is becoming more and more popular. Uh, but anyway, you will find itself into the operating system of some uh, low-cost tablets, laptops, etc., etc., etc. So anyway, I uh, just want to show you this. So uh, this that plays very well. And again, I've got it windowed. Let me see how everyone's looking. Okay. Now, the other one, that, like I say, the live TV streams is the hardest thing for these boxes to play. So, let's look at here. Okay, channel 2.1. We look at the guide, etc., etc., etc. And 4.1. All right, we're going to click play. And we're going to use the video player. Cookie pops. Yeah. Again, it, it well, plays you got your under the sea cookie very pops well. And if you notice the bottom bar, it disappears on this one. And Cody, it disappears. But the uh, HD Home Run it did not disappear. So, but anyway, I want to show you that. That looks pretty good. Okay? Once upon a time, there were three lovely mer. Alright, uh, what else can I say? But anyway, that's the hardest thing for these things to play is live TV. But that one played very well. So, uh, Again, this is running off Wi-Fi, which is uh, amazing that this 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi played these live HD streams very well. Um, okay, moving on now. Next, I will show you Linux. I will take this little micro SD card out and pop in my Linux micro SD card. So, anyway, stay tuned, and I will show you that one. Okay, I just uh, swapped out the micro SD card and I put the micro SD card in that is running Linux. Now, to be honest with you, I have no idea how to use Linux. Uh, off and on throughout the 5,000 years that I've been alive, I've tried it different times, but always been with back to Windows. But anyway, I will give you a sample of what it does. Okay, so here we are at the screen, the main screen. Again, I have no idea. Now one thing that is pretty slick, uh, again, I'm not familiar with Linux at all, it shows all my network devices. That is pretty doggone slick. I know Windows Neighborhood does it, but I don't think it does it as good as this one. But anyway, uh, to go to some of the programs, VLC, uh, Office, Internet. Okay, now this, I figured out, is the web browser. As you can see, it remembered all these uh, things that I've been looking at. And it 
takes a little while to load. Oh, now this one, it, the, I'm using the Ethernet cable on this one because uh, they do have the correct drivers for uh, Linux, the Ubuntu Linux. But anyway, um, I figured out how to do some things, but most things I have not figured out how to do. I've been trying to uh, install uh, the Plex server on it, and I have not been very successful at all. But anyway, uh, I got this far. I get to work and play videos. Proceed my package, my Time 64 that I had. Uh, and that's just about the extent of my knowledge. Now, I have been going, trying to figure out how to get it done, but uh, some of the people from the, uh, uh, this website, they will, they're very helpful, so they're going to help me install it as soon as I get an opportunity to uh, uh, install the Plex server, as soon as I get an opportunity to uh, show them where I'm at. And basically, this is part of the video that I'm making for them so they can see where I'm at and what the problems are. So anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to show you there on that. But anyway, it is a full-blown uh, Linux Ubuntu operating system. So from that part, I have no idea what else to do. Now, I have been following cut and pasting and all the different commands using the uh, uh, terminal, open it terminal, using sudo and uh, cd, backslash, etc., etc., which I do most of that from my old DOS days back 40 or 50 years ago. But anyway, uh, I was able to enter a copy and paste a bunch of commands here, but it just did not seem to work. So uh, hopefully I'll get that to work in the future. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a demonstration of what this little board is capable of doing. Again, this board runs any operating system that you can find as long as somebody uh, uh, creates it and put it on a little micro SD card and there you go. So I can go from uh, uh, Android, a Remix Mini, or Ubuntu, or different other versions of Linux that they've created on the uh, Pine64 website. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Thank you very much.